Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing awesome. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So we are at the end of my Aloe April challenge. I just completed my last Aloe April wash day last night. So I'm trying to keep everything as similar to that first kickoff video as possible, including wearing a pretty much virtually identical top and outfit. I love these little off the shoulder tops from Express. And I got this little cute bralette from Aerie. And if you guys remember, you'll probably see in this video, of course, but I have this same exact outfit just in a different color so if you guys saw my first Aloe April video you know that as my control for part of this experiment I used the same exact products that I started the challenge with that first wash day I repeated the same exact wash day for this last one so that we can tell if we can see any sort of differences so I just thought doing this would be a fun little kind of like full circle moment for the challenge kind of like book ending the two so if you've seen that first video but just wanted a quick recap for the whole month of April my challenge surrounded aloe vera aloe vera has so many benefits not only for your hair but for your scalp as well which is like the epicenter of healthy hair growth in general the scalp is key so for my challenge everything that I used on my hair and I mean everything had to have aloe in the first five ingredients I like to do these kind of like one ingredient challenge months just to like kind of like supercharge my hair with the benefits of that particular ingredient for the entire month so I can see if I notice any differences any changes in my hair I am going to be doing more of those in the future this is my second one the first one was my fenugreek February video from 2021 so I'll have that linked but yes we are at the end of aloe April so in that first video in addition to mentioning all the different benefits of aloe vera showing you the different products that I was going to be using over the course of the entire month I said that I'd be showing you the products that I was going to be using as my like baseline at the beginning and the end everything I use for those those two wash days I'd be showing in this one so this is everything that I used here for pre pulling and I'm like almost at the end of it you guys remember in my first video I said one of the things that I was looking forward to for this challenge was using stuff up y'all I used up so much stuff in this past month alone this is from the Shea Moisture Fruit Fusion line their coconut water weightless cream rinse the slip booster that I used is the one from just for me the tender headed detangling treatment all of this is marketed for kids it definitely works on my tender head itself I keep calling this Shea Moisture I've had to redo this part so many times you guys I keep calling it Shea Moisture it must be the S's but I'm gonna be using the Sultanicals Cocoa Rasul Butter Shampoo for my cleanser during that first aloe April wash day I hadn't tried this product deep conditioning I'm gonna be using the Baskin Bloom Brahmi Root Hair Mask did a little leave-in cocktail for that wash day that I'm also going to be repeating this time. I put two leave-ins together mostly because I had used up the last of this one and I need a little bit more. So I'm going to be using the Naturally Adabella Hydro Moist Leave-In. I love Naturally Adabella. I've got a coupon code down in the description box as well as some others you guys can check out to save some money and I'm pairing that leave-in with another from Baskin Bloom their ease leave-in conditioner I love this stuff for styling I'm gonna be using the Genador Beauty you guys know I've been singing the praises of this gel since I discovered it last April this is what I'm gonna be using for this wash and coat so as my baseline for this challenge I wanted to see what my hair looked like in its wet product free state at the start of this compared to its wet product free state at the end and in addition how my hair looked in a washing go at the beginning of this challenge and at the end here let's jump into what things were looking like at the start of the challenge and then we'll do a comparison for how things were looking like wet with no product at the end that clip at the beginning of the challenge right before sitting down to film this so that I could try to see if I could notice any differences when my hair was wet until I see both of the clips kind of one after another I don't know if I'll be able to really notice any differences so I'm sure the editing Ashley will chime in with anything I notice but I would say that the initial thought that I have with my hair like this a month after I started this whole thing when it's wet without any product I do feel that my hair overall is softer like its baseline of moisture has gotten a little bit better but as far as visually I think my hair looks about the same but just based on the feel of my hair 
I would say that it feels a little bit more hydrated than it did previously. I'm sure I will have mentioned it in the video, but I did end up trimming my ends about a week ago because they were like screaming out. They were like, I can't go any further. We've got to, we've got to do it. So I took off maybe a half inch all around. So we'll see if these ends look any different. I'm noticing a little bit more curl definition in this usually just wave or frizz that I have in the front section here. And like I mentioned in the wet hair clip that I filmed yesterday, I don't really see that much of a difference except that this front section of my hair is my super super frizzy, much more loose curl pattern section. It's pretty much just like a wall of frizz right here. That's how it is naturally. And I can notice maybe like a smidgen bit more curl definition and I attribute that to my hair being a little bit more hydrated in general from this challenge like its baseline for moisture i think has gone up since i've started aloe april which is wonderful for me and for many of us moisture equals increased curl definition my hair loves really nice good hydration and moisture it doesn't like just pure water my hair we've talked about this my hair is weird if i spray water on my hair to re moisturize it my hair feels dry my hair needs like a, a mix of moisturizing ingredients to get me that feeling just plain water doesn't cut I feel that my baseline for moisture when my hair doesn't have any product on it and when it has products on it has gone up a bit. So for example, when my hair is wet, I can tell the difference between when my hair feels dry even when it's wet, if that makes sense, like the moisture of my hair, the hydration, I can tell a difference. It wasn't like drastic, but it was enough to where I could tell a little bit of a difference even handling my hair because I've been natural now for, I don't know, I always forget like 11 years so I know what my hair feels like when it's wet when it's dry when it's everything in between also when my hair has product on it usually I don't re-moisturize in between styling sessions I just sometimes I do sometimes I don't but I could tell that even when I got to wash day and finally did wash my hair it didn't feel as dried out as it normally would at that point between wash sessions and for our flashback back to the start of this challenge when my hair was styled this is what the curls were looking like good comparison of where to start so that we see how things are looking at the end of this challenge. comparison this is everything all styled I kept things so similar that when I filmed that video it was the day after I did my hair this is the day after I styled it last night so everything is as close to the same as possible except for one thing I did go in with a little trim I don't think it looks drastically different on the ends maybe a little bit healthier So I would say for my style wash and go results compared to the beginning of the challenge, I think it looks pretty much identical. My hair looks super healthy. It feels really healthy. This combination of products works so well. So even after this challenge, this is gonna be like one of my go-tos when I want like a solid consistent wash and go that I know is gonna turn out amazing. I am going to be repeating this for sure. So I'm really happy that I have it all documented and everything so I won't forget. Yeah, my curls just feel and look so happy and springy and healthy. And this is my notoriously like WTF section. It's normally really dry. It's one of the first places to break. And I feel that even that is feeling good. Okay, now I need to stop touching it so much because I just love the way that it turned out. Like y'all, so much health. And the fact that I straighten my hair more now, this is even more just like, I love this. I love that I can go between the two. So if you happen to be new to my channel, hello again and welcome. In the fall, I usually wear my hair straight for two months and I that's something I've started to do over the past two years. And the fact that my hair can maintain the health of the curls, the integrity of my curls, which is like the most important thing to me when it comes to taking care of my hair, the health of it is just so, so nice. 
to know that that routine is working for me it's helping me mentally get a nice break from doing my hair in the colder months and then when things warm up again and I wear my hair curly it is just in such good condition so I hope knock on all the wood I possibly can I hope that this continues I even wrote down my little notes of things that I noticed over the course of this challenge so that I could remember them for this video. I had less product buildup when it came time to actually wash my hair. So I know that we've all been there. It was time to like wash, cleanse your hair. I like to very, very gently use my nails to really get in there on my scalp and make sure that it's clean. So I'll do a little check with my nail to see if I have any product buildup. And sometimes I'll see some so I know, okay, I need to go back into this section and hit it with the shampoo a little bit more concentrated on my scalp. So what I noticed with this challenge is that I had a lot less product buildup. That could be because aloe vera has natural antiseptic and cleansing properties, so buildup wasn't happening on my scalp as readily because of that. Or it could also be that with aloe vera being so far at the front of the ingredient list, there were a lot less more emollient heavy ingredients towards the back, so they had a lot less chance to build up as well because I'm a butter oil gal, so that's one of the main reasons why I get that product buildup right at my scalp. I don't know. So whatever combination of the cause, that was something cool that I noticed. A lot less product buildup on my scalp which is good for healthy hair growth. So on that note of buttery, oily products, I have been someone who, ever since I was a kid, my hair has responded really, really well to oils and butters. Through every step of my hair's journey, from being natural as a kid, getting a relaxer, growing that out, transitioning, being natural, getting a texturizer and back to natural, throughout that entire like life cycle of my hair, my hair has loved oils and butters. For this challenge, I think more than any other time in my life, was the least that I have used oils and butters directly on my hair. And I know that recently on YouTube and some like hair care trends that come and go, if you've been natural as long as I have, you guys know there's so many trims. You guys remember the water only method? There have been so many different things you kind of see come and go. Some things last, some things, you know, kind of always go back. It's one of those things. And one of the things I've seen recently is people no longer using oil and butter on their hair. And a step further is that they're also seeing more botanically based products that don't have oils and butters in the ingredient list and I haven't really done a ton of research into it because I've again always been an oil and butter girl but I've seen a few things here and there and people say their hair is so much healthier because they said that the oils and butters coat it and prevent it from really receiving like that true hydration like their hair's maximum benefit of getting super soft happy healthy hair and I don't know this challenge was interesting I didn't use any oils or butter to seal because again has to have aloe vera in the first five of the ingredient list and that was really hard to come by. I only found one thing in my stash that met that criteria and I only used it once and it was to undo a set of twists. It wasn't even used to seal or anything like that on wet hair. It was just a little bit on my fingers to kind of discourage frizz and it was the planted hair care Ayurvedic infused hair butter. We will be talking about this one a little bit later on in the video. So that was the only time I used any sort of direct application for butter or oil on my hair and as I've been raving to you guys during this whole video, my hair thrived during this challenge. Some of the healthiest periods of my hair have been using oils and butters heavily in my routine. So I don't know, it's just very curious, it's very interesting. So if you guys have made the switch from using oils and butters regularly in your routine to cutting back on them or not using them altogether anymore, let me know what you've noticed. So another benefit of this challenge is that I had an opportunity to really get to know some products in my stash that I haven't had a chance to use and I found some nice little HG's that really took me by surprise so we were just talking about this one this is a planted hair care Ayurvedic infused hair butter this made the list for this challenge because it has aloe vera gel in the first five ingredients and you don't usually see that in a butter blend you still have the emollients and smoothness of a butter but you can tell there's something extra in there that kind of like grabs onto your hair and leaves it feeling so soft it's not stiff at all it smells so good and fresh so we'll see at the end of 2022 if this makes it into the favorites list but so far the products that I have discovered from this challenge I can definitely see them making it on there another HG that I discovered during this challenge which I kind of had an inkling I was gonna love before I even tried it is from Shea by Nay this is her the big L moisture spray 
I used this in my Aloe April wash day that I did a little bit earlier in the month where I showed you guys my results using five all new to me products and this was one of them and I absolutely loved it. First of all, I will never get over this gorgeous like ruby deep red color. This is from the hibiscus tea that she uses. But I absolutely love this. It moisturized so so well. This is something that I'm going to be relying on heavily now that I'm getting back into working out like a nice little refresher spray. This one hurts. This one hurts. I used this product to style in that Aloe April wash day video. And I said in the video, I don't remember if I kept that clip in, but I might have. I think I said, oh, I love this product so much. I hope it's not discontinued and I hope the company's still around. Y'all, Tareen Fusions. I spent a good like 30 minutes looking for any sign of Tareen Fusions I could find. I looked on Instagram, I looked just on the internet in general for any sign of them. Did y'all change your name? Are you taking a hiatus? Totally nowhere to be found. They're, they're not here, but I will enjoy this while it lasts. I got quite a bit of things from this brand one year during Black Friday, and I can't help but think that maybe the pandemic had something to do with it because I got this in November of 2019 and we know what happened a few months later so this might have unfortunately been a case of an amazing brand just not being able to deal with all the curveballs and crap that was thrown at so many small businesses during the pandemic. I hope so much that they come back again because their protein free curl smoothie oh my goodness it felt so good on my hair it made my hair feel and look so amazing and last but not least this was like a sleeper hit this was a dark horse that i was not expecting i have been neglecting and low-key not looking forward to this product since i had it i don't know why but i just thought it was gonna like my hair was gonna hate it this is the hairfinity gentle cleanse shampoo this stuff is so moisturizing cleansing at the same time and just like the name entails it is so so gentle i don't really hear much about hairfinity lately i remember a few years ago you saw a ton of videos about them initially but i haven't really heard anything about them in years now i'm even more excited to try the accompanying deep conditioner that i also have but y'all i don't get excited about shampoos like that so it takes a really special shampoo for me to be like hold on a second um, I kind of love you and <laughs> this is where we're at. I know that Hairfinity might be known more so for their hair growth supplements, but you guys, you guys, if you have tried this shampoo, let me know what you think. I'm so mad that I've just been like relegating this to like Cinderella status, like get out my face. I don't want anything to really do with you status. I don't know, something about it, I was just like, I'm not gonna like this. Eating my words because this shampoo is so, so good. And again, you guys know me super dry hair super tangled borderline matted very thick low porosity this shampoo i had such an amazing experience with this challenge i feel that really infusing my hair for a solid month with all that aloe vera all those benefits i think that my hair is a lot happier than before i started this challenge so oh, i just love it stop touching it stop touching it i have another fun one ingredient challenge planned as we get into the fall months because the way time is going we'll be there before we'll know it so i think that challenge is going to be in october so i can't wait to share with you about that one it's a lot of people's favorite ingredient around that time of year i really hope you guys enjoyed this challenge it was so fun if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up that really helps to boost my channel into the youtube algorithm and a lot of you have probably seen this update on your phones as well for youtube but if you press the like button now isn't that cute? In addition to helping to support videos that you like, it just also makes it a little extra fun to hit that like button. Likewise, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so as well. I would love to have you. Remember that I release new videos every Friday. Make sure you have those notifications turned on. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.